I will be providing information and details on the Sand Saver, a natural solution to beach erosion by Granger Plastics Company, and its recent installation at the luxurious five-star Swahili Beach Resort in Diani Beach, Kenya, located on the eastern coast of Africa on the Indian Ocean. As you can see in the video before the Sand Saver installation, when the tide is coming in, the beach is extremely vulnerable to erosion, washing away the precious, beautiful white sand and encroaching onto the resort's property, and eventually minimizing the beach for guests and tourists to enjoy. Before Sand Saver's installation, the beach was plagued by massive amounts of unsightly seaweed which would wash up on the beach, requiring large crews, lots of manual labor, and daily maintenance. In just a few moments you will see that once Sand Saver has been installed, the amount of seaweed that washes up on the beach is drastically reduced, allowing the resort to better utilize its workers and manpower and greatly reduce the daily seaweed cleanup efforts. On the evening of January 12th, 2020, the Sand Saver installation takes place while the tide is out. Due to the expense and lack of heavy equipment available, most all the installation is completed by manual labor. Take note of the concrete structure you see the installation crews climbing and lifting the units over. It will be brought up again later. You see the crews carrying the empty 250-pound Sand Saver modules to their intended locations, putting them in place, side by side, lined up on the beach with the larger opening facing the ocean, while the smaller tapered ends face the beach. Because of the nature of the public beach and the current narrow width conditions of the beach, these modules cannot be installed at the low tide lines where they would perform the best. The Sand Saver units were strategically installed in effort to keep plenty of public access up and down the length of the beach, while still being a viable solution to the beach erosion issues that have plagued Swahili Beach Resort for years. The crews work feverishly through the night continuing to place the Sand Saver modules before the tide starts to come back in. With the resort as a beautiful backdrop to all the crews working on the beach restoration project, one crew continues the placement of the modules while others straighten up the installation placement. The installation of the Sand Saver modules will finalize once the modules reach the rock retaining wall of the resort property. The units are strapped together to hold the Sand Saver system in place against the heavy surf and ensure that the chain of beach erosion barriers does not allow the surf to continue erosion of the beach between the modules. With the modules in place, the filling of the modules begins. Typically, the Sand Saver modules would have been filled with concrete, but again, due to the expense, lack of proper equipment and access, these units are being filled with sand by the crews to ensure that each module has enough mass to withstand the repetitive wave energy and to keep from floating away. With the modules in place and filled, the tide starts to come in on the beach. As you can see the surf passing through the tapered openings, depositing sand on the beach side of the units. As the sand accumulates, the units will become covered in accreted sand. The sun rises and inside of 12 hours of being installed, the Sand Saver units already show significant positive signs of building up the beach. As the tide comes and goes with each passing day, the accumulation of sand and the width profile of the beach both increase. After two weeks of being installed and in place, the Sand Saver modules are already over 50% covered on the north end of the system. Remember the concrete structure we mentioned in the beginning that the crews were climbing over while placing the Sand Savers? Take a look at how much sand has already accumulated around it. In the two weeks that the Sand Saver modules have been installed at Swahili Beach Resort, they have accumulated approximately 3,500 cubic yards of sand, while increasing the width of the beachfront property as much as 75 feet in some areas. While admiring the beautiful white sandy beach, also note the reduction of the unsightly seaweed. 
will be exciting to see the additional gains in sand accretion experienced over the coming weeks and months with Sand Saver installed at the opulent Swahili Beach Resort in Kenya. Learn more about Sandsaver at sandsaver.com.